Blade and Quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks to all your responses from last week's video, I was able to better understand your needs. Today, I would like to start working on this simple project. We are going to paint a calla lily flower. It's going to be fun. So let me show you how to get started. First things first, if you have installed the pen pressure button on your toolbar, make sure to turn it off before you start painting. As you can see right now, there are only two brush sliders on the toolbar. One for opacity and one for size. To sculpt paint, we need to add the flow slider. Let me show you how to get it. Go to the settings tab. Choose configure toolbars. In the toolbar drop down menu, select brushes and stuff. In the filter search bar, located under available actions, type brush option. Click on the brush option slider 3 to make it active. Using the right arrow, move it on the other side. It has been relocated at the bottom of the window. Using the up arrow, move the new slider between brush option slider 1 and 2. Click apply and OK. We can now paint with the three different brush settings. We have one slider to adjust our brush opacity, one slider to manage its flow, and finally one slider to change its size. Click on the freehand brush tool if not already done. Click on the icon Choose Brush Preset. Choose the tag All. In the search bar located at the bottom of the window, type Bristle. A list of all your bristle brushes will appear. Scroll down until you find the brush called Bristles Hairy. Click on it to select it and then click anywhere on the interface to get out of the window. Go to the color wheel. For this exercise, try to find the lightest tint of the color red. I am going to start painting with my brush set at 50% flow, 50% opacity and a size of 27 pixels. Using small strokes, I am going to slowly shape two petals of a lily. If you want the top edges of a flower brighter than the body, increase the opacity of your brush and maybe decrease its flow as well. To create a nice separation between the two petals, decrease the size of your brush.
using the eraser, clean up the edges of your petals. Don't forget to change the size of your eraser as needed. To catch mistakes, hit the letter M on your keyboard to flip your image. I'm going to undo the eraser and decrease the opacity of my brush. Create a new layer and create a group. Hit F2 and rename the group Flower. If I paint a line on the newly created layer, the paint will not only go on the top of the flower, but also on the canvas. Now look, if I cross out this alpha button that you see right here, paint will only be seen within the painted petals. Undo the functionality and the paint is back everywhere. This is how clipping masks are created in Krita. Alright, let me cross out the alpha button again. Back in the color wheel, I am going to choose a light tint of red. I'm going to decrease the opacity to 17% as I go down the flower's petal. Now the game is going to be playing with the different tint, uh, tones and shades of colors while using different opacity, flow and sizes of a brush. When you are done, close the group and create a new layer above. Rename it Stem. I am going to test a few green colors first, then uh, I'll paint the stem. Don't forget that you can always decrease the opacity of any of the layers you worked on. Alright, time to create a new layer. Holding the shift key, I select the stem and the brand new layer you created. Rename the group. Now the only thing to do is cross the alpha button and click on the layer to start painting on the top of the stem.
So here we're gonna go back to the original layer to make changes. We're going to increase the opacity a little more. And back to the layer above. When done painting the stem, just close the group. Create a new layer holding the control key. Pick the white color of your petal. Decrease the flow of the brush by half and start blending the white color to the green color beneath. Now time to pick the green color of the stem and this time blend the green color to the white color of the petal. This doesn't have to be perfect, remember this is just an exercise. Holding the shift key, select everything and create a last group. After you have renamed the group, open it. Create two new layers above the layer you blended colors on. Rename the first one Highlights, the second one Shadows. Actually, uh, let's create one more and uh, name it uh, Shine. Before the start, uh, make sure to cross out all their alpha buttons. We need a new brush. The old tag is still selected from earlier. Remove the earlier search and type Linear. Select the airbrush linear. You don't have to use this brush, you could still use the bristles hairy if you wanted. Change the blending mode of the three new layers. Choose overlay for the highlights layer. Multiply for the shadows layer and a screen for the shines layer. Starting with the highlight layer, paint your effects using a different opacity, flow and sizes of your brush. Before the start, grab a new color tint. For the shadows, choose a darker shade. Remember to decrease the opacity of your layer if you think that the effects you created are too dark. When you are done painting the shadows, choose a lighter tint again and paint on the shine layer. I am going to stop here, now it's your turn. Add as many more flowers as you want. Uh, here as you can see I added uh, one more. I hope uh, this uh, first little exercise was uh, helpful and helped you see that you do not need uh, dozens of brushes uh, to paint uh, nice little pictures. I will only add this uh, before to leave. Uh, do not underestimate the power of one brush. For example, here I only used the bristles hairy brush throughout the entire project. Next week we will do another exercise and maybe increase the difficulty a little. So until then, have fun practicing. I will see you next Monday. Take care. Bye. Au revoir.